In case you weren't aware, Evernote recently delivered a Mike Tyson uppercut square in the jawbones of all of their free users by limiting them to one notebook and 50 notes unless they pay. I already have 39 notebooks and more than 400 notes, so, you know, screw me, right? I can't use the app until I upgrade, which is way too aggressive in my opinion. Note-taking apps are common as dirt, so why don't we see what else is out there that we can use for free? And may this be the last thing I ever write and ever note. Amen. <coughs> Number five, Notejoy. Although this list is in order and number one is the one that I'm now personally using, I'm putting this one first on the list because I believe it's the most similar to Evernote. The sidebar feels familiar with note previews, notebooks and a search bar and all that. The upgrade button may also feel unpleasantly familiar, but not to worry, there's no note limit here. But there is a limit of five notebooks. I wish that didn't exist, but what can you do? They gotta make money somehow, I guess. Overall, I like it. Number four, Microsoft OneNote. I know, I know, I'm sorry, but I have to throw it in there. It's just a really solid note-taking tool. It just is. It's basically like if your Word documents were neatly packaged up into notes and notebooks. You can tag them and search for them, and there's some cool hidden gems when it comes to formatting and whatever. It's just generally a powerful and 100% free tool. I've used it in the past, though usually only when it's work-related. And not YouTube work, I mean like my actual job. What, you thought I made a living on YouTube? I'd have to upload more than once a year for that to happen. Number three, simple note. If Evernote felt like, if Evernote felt, if Evernote felt like overkill, Simple note may be all you need. There's not even a paid tier from what I can tell. It's free through and through. There's no notebooks and organization at all, but you can tag notes and search for them as needed. There's no note limit or anything. The styling is done in Markdown and you can publish notes to be seen by anyone if you wish. It's really just like a really stripped back version of even what the free version of Evernote was. Not quite enough meat to it for me, but it might be exactly what you're looking for, so I thought I would put it on this list. Overall, again, I like it. It wouldn't be on this list if I didn't like it. Number two, Notebook LM. This one is kind of fascinating to me. It's an AI note-taking app from Google. Notebook LM is centered around uploading sources to your notebooks and then asking questions about them. It's got a chatbot, like a chat GPT style chatbot, but you can't just ask it anything. You have to ask it questions about what you uploaded. It's not quite similar enough to what I'm used to on Evernote to be my replacement, but I think it's very cool. Could potentially be very useful, so putting it here for now. Before I reveal number one, I wanted to do an honorable mentions speed round. Ready? Let's do it. Google Keep feels like the predecessor to Notebook LM, or both by Google. Sort of like digital sticky notes, kind of very, very simple, um, but handy a lot of the times. It appears in your Gmail sidebar, which I like. Gitbook. Gitbook is the most amazing documentation tool I've ever used. It's not really a note-taking tool, but you could use it like that if you wanted to. Fantastic formatting options. Very cool tool. Obsidian. Obsidian is very simple and easy markdown notes with some neat little bells and whistles in there. Didn't make the list because you have to pay to sync across devices. That was one of my bare minimums <laughs> that I needed. Prices are reasonable, but we do ball on a budget here. Bear.app. Bear is an excellent choice if you are an Apple only user, uh, but it didn't make the list because you have to be an Apple user. I'm not an Apple user. All right, all right. Enough jibber jabbering, enough wind jamming, enough gum flapping. Number one, Zoho Notebook. Okay, Zoho Notebook's free tier seems to be very similar in power to Evernote's old free tier, a lot of the same stuff. There's notebooks and note cards instead of notes, but whatever. They have a good enough, for me, amount of formatting options that can be synced across platforms like my phone and all that for free. Boom, shakalaka, that is all I need. There's other stuff too, like you can co-work together with people in the note cards. There's version history on your notes, so you can go back to old versions of your notes. Uh, you can tag things, you can scan documents, you can even migrate from Evernote, and so on. Limitations on the free tier are that you only get two gigabytes of free storage space on your account. You're missing out on a lot of fancier bells and whistles, but the gist here is that it's free, and it's gosh darn good enough for me. And the cherry on top is that the pro version is literally $2 a month. <laughs> Not bad. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you end up using any of these, please let me know in the comments. I always find that interesting. I thought about putting affiliate links, but uh, everything's free, <laughs> so that wouldn't really work. Okay. The more I talk, the more editing I have to do, so I'm out. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.